Muhammad comes along in Surah chapter 4, 1, 5, 7, he says, and they crucified him not. Now here's the problem that you have, here's the problem that you have. God does not contradict himself by sending prophets who contradict different messages. When you sign up for something on Amazon, right, and they deliver it to you, how do they know you are you? ID and whatnot. ID. ID. This angel, whoever came to Muhammad, never ID'd himself. Ever. For me, it's good enough that Warwick had turned around and confirmed it. Hey, brother, if I came, if another man came here and says, I've just seen an angel. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. If Jesus is sinless and pure and Jesus prophesied about his own yeah, death and resurrection, Muhammad being a sinner contradicted this sinless man. What's your argument? My argument so is that Jesus is not God, he was a prophet. Okay, where do you get your arguments that Jesus is not God from? Because he was a prophet. Okay, where do you get your ideas from? My ideas from my faith. Which is your faith? Islam. Okay. Islam came how many years, centuries after the You're missing the point. You're, you're I'm asking a simple question. I haven't, I haven't done 14, anything. 1400 years ago, I'm not no, no, trying no. to say you're saying anything. <laughs> After the death of Jesus Christ, how many centuries before he's died? You said death, no, but you don't mean death. How can God die? Sorry, but that, that's, that's another, another, but that's another God point. Die? Is this another okay. point? Okay. God don't die because, because listen, if God died. Wait, wait, wait. God, no, 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 my friend. I asked you, I said, what can I show you? You said there's nothing here I can show you. Yes, yes. So then I said to you, what do you believe about about Jesus? And you said you 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 don't believe anything. In there, but no, you are a Muslim. I, I said that Jesus was a prophet of God, right? But you get that from being a Muslim, right? Yes, so I'm asking you, how many centuries after the death of Jesus did Islam arrive? What was the message before that? 1400 years or whatever. It's 700 years after the death of Jesus. Then you have the figure, a character called Muhammad. Now, here's hear me for a second. I'll, I'll entertain you. Thank you. Remember what I did, bro. Thank you. Muhammad was not a scholar. He was a Muhammad, Muhammad was not a scholar. He was a prophet. He didn't go through particular manuscripts which were already in existence. Because he was a prophet. Because he couldn't read or write. No, because he got revelation from God directly. I'll allow you to speak. I'll allow you to speak. I will allow you to speak. I will allow you to respond. Yeah, because you're right. But it's like right now, you're not allowing me to give you an argument. Right, Here's what I'm saying to you. Muhammad comes 700 years after the death of Jesus. He's no scholar. He never goes into Israel. He never converses with the actual, or never takes the text which already is in existence. The exact text, right? Such as the Torah, such as the New Testament, which have been canonized. The New Testament has been canonized for 400 years, but Jewish Torah has been canonized for approximately 1,000 years. He never looks at these, these scripts. He can't speak the Hebrew language. He can't speak Aramaic. He lived 700 years after the death of Jesus. But you're saying that because an angel came to him in a cave, and what the angel said to him in a cave, this is now more relevant than the whole of history. This is what you're saying to me. What? Well, yeah, because at the end okay. of the day, at the end of what now? Hear me out. Right? The point is, right? Who is more credible? Right? An angel of God? Or, as you said, revelation has been term, tampered with from the message. Prove to me that the Quran, I'm sorry, the, the Torah and the Injil have been corrupted. What we, what we must, to be honest with you, right, I have not studied the Torah, right? I will say that much. But my point is, right, if it took for an angel to turn around and clarify with the Prophet Muhammad certain things that are in the Torah, then you need to turn around and prove how Okay, here's my other thing, right? You have a so-called angel who visits a man in a cave, right? Go on. And for over 23 years, this angel is now supposedly giving revelations to this man. Go on. Now, here's the problem. This same angel apparently is the same angel who met previous prophets like Zechariah, like Daniel, to like even a woman called Mary, the mother of Jesus. The interaction this angel has with these three prior to Muhammad is fantastically different. Number one, number one, the angel when they came, whenever this angel Gabriel comes to Daniel, comes to Zechariah, comes to Mary, the angel gives something called a salutation. That is, it, first of all, it will say, fear not. Then it will say, I've come from, then it will give you a particular message. When the angel came to Muhammad, none of these 
right? None of these uh, uh, um, particular was, was observed. None of these protocols were followed. Instead, you have this angel who grips Muhammad by the throat. Three times Muhammad is in this situation and he's been told recite or read Ikara. Three times. The interaction that this angel caused with Muhammad is totally different than any angel that this same angel came and had with previous prophets. That's number one. That's the first premise. Can you do that first premise? So, let's just say that um, what you said is true. What point are you getting at? I'm simply saying to you that whoever told you that it was an angel that appeared to Muhammad in a cave, and by the way, the angel, how do we know that was, a, that was an angel? We don't know it because of Muhammad. We don't know it because of Muhammad's wife. We know it because of Waraka, a Nestorian, a Christian with Nestorian. Because Muhammad, who is terrified after the incident, his wife is the recommendation to him and says, Muhammad, you need to go to a Christian whose name is Waraka. When Muhammad goes to this Christian, the Christian is the one who says, who intimates that Muhammad is Muhammad. From what you just told me, I believe you just met the prophet or rather the angel Jibril. But here's the problem. The angel never identifies what or who he is. He never says, I'm angel, I'm, 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 I'm Gabriel or I'm Jibril, ever. Ever. So, yeah, I'm so, you got, so, you got, um, so you got doubts as to whether Waraka um, is real. Um, no, I'm saying to you, why is it that in the, in the previous, whenever the angel visits uh, uh, Daniel or Zachariah or Mary, he always identifies who he is. He identifies who he is. I am Gabriel. I am a messenger from the Most High. I have come because I have a particular thing to say to you. This is not what happens ever in the life of Muhammad. Ever. What was the message? No, what I, I get what he's trying to say, but, but, my, 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 but again, in contention to what he's got to say, well, why, um, well, why not? You know what I mean? Because like, at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, people are different, and you address people in different ways and whatnot. So, if you know how a person is, you may have to turn around and, and say whatever you say in a particular manner so that it gets But what was the home. message? What was the message itself? So, okay, so here's my problem. Here's the problem okay. again. The problem is, right, and I'll give you a really practical example. Whenever, when you sign up for something on Amazon, right? and they deliver it to you. How do they know you are you? ID and whatnot. ID. ID. Right? So in other words, I can't say, I can't say this guy's name is John. He has to give his own ID for me to say, okay, that confirms who he is. This angel, whoever came to Muhammad, never ID'd himself, ever. So he could have right, been... Right, right, took for Waraka to turn around and do that. But and who was he a prophet? No, he's a Christian scholar. How to, are you telling me that your understand your faith comes into being for a Christian? A Christian who now authorizes what Muhammad saw? Is that your faith? Well, the thing is, right? What you have to understand, that you have to turn and look at the continuity of what was brought, like what the brother was saying. The continuity was the worshipping of one God, right? There was no prophet that term, like like I turn and say them to those cats over there. There was no prophet, no prophet, right from Adam to, to um, Jesus, Muhammad, all the prophets, no, none of them turned around and said that you should turn around and worship me. You should worship my Lord. Except for Jesus. No, no, no. Okay. Not Jesus. We'll come to that. We'll come to that. But here's the problem that you, you have. You see, this whole situation, right, has a lots and lots of problems in it regarding from the very beginning. Because. Because you don't know who that angel was, you, you don't know who that angel was ever. You can never confirm and say, oh, this angel. But he well, said, yeah, except you, no matter how much you want to believe it, there's no way you can actually confirm, oh, yeah, this was. Because the angel never gave who he was. Right? Do you accept that? For me, it's good enough that Warwick had turned and confirmed it. Hey brother, if I can, if another man came here and said I've just seen an angel, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, hold on. let, let me make it. Let me turn around and prove a, prove a point. If this if this is your contention, let's both turn around and admit and stand before God right now, right, and just say, can we turn around, uh, on the day of judgment? Can we stand before you and you verify that it was the angel Gabriel that came before Muhammad and said whatever, irrespective of how we um, the angel greeted Muhammad. 
Here's what I'm trying to say to you, right? No, no yes or no. Answer I don't know yes what you're. No. I don't even know what you're talking about at this point. Well, do, do you understand you see, what I'm just, saying? Yeah, exactly. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know what you're saying, right? Now. If this, if what is appearing to anybody, they introduce themselves. They have to introduce themselves, yeah, but bro. This is a different way, you know. But what was the message? But here's the problem. Here's the biggest problem that you have. Here's the biggest problem. They won't understand. Over the 23 years that Muhammad is supposedly receiving these revelations, number one, there's no witnesses. There's not one eyewitness that saw this. Being. Actually, oh, there, there, there has hold been hadith. Hold on, hold on. Hold there on. has been hadith. Hold that on. Confirm yeah. that, um, yeah. Give me the name of I don't know, but I, I don't know. Like, according to Christian doctrine, hold on. hang on, hold on. Hang on. According to I'll give Christian you one. Doctrine, Jesus, according to you, is the only prophet that turned around and called the people to worship him and him alone. I'll give you one. Right? And, 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 and this is what we got problems with. No prophet friend, turned around and this called. Slowly and methodically. No prophet yeah? called any. Um, let's do this slowly. To a I'm going to show like, you hey, something. Except, Here it is. Paul, according to them, yeah. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. How do we know Muhammad contradicted Jesus? How do we know that for a fact? He didn't. Okay. Jesus Christ in all four Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, he made these particular predictions about his own death and his resurrection. In Matthew, in Mark, in Luke and in John, in each of these Gospels there are four to five times when Jesus outlines, prophesies his own death and his own resurrection. He, it's not implicit, it's not a suggestion, these are explicit declarations. Guess hold on, hold on, book? hold on, because hold we, on, because we hold don't on, go against hold on, because hold we on. Go against you do, yeah, you yeah, do, we do, we do, big time. Yeah, 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 I know. Now, here's the problem. Well, here's the thing, here's the thing, because eventually, 700 years after Jesus made these prophecies, he's made these pronouncements, after he's prophesied about the destruction of Jerusalem, after he's prophesied about his own death and resurrection, Muhammad comes along in Surah chapter 4157 and says, and they crucified him not. Now here's the problem that you have, here's the problem that you have. Yeah. God doesn't, God, the living God does not contradict himself. God does not contradict himself by sending prophets who contradict different messages. No, no, well, that, so, you believe so, in the Bible, so, we don't. So, so, the problem that you have is, you have Muhammad, number one, Jesus was sinless. Do you agree? No, no. Where does they say that? Was Jesus pure? Where, where does he okay. say that? No. Was Jesus pure? Everybody had their faults. Hold on. Everyone. Hold on. Hold on. And, and hold on. And, hold on. Hold on. Jesus was not was pure. Jesus pure? No. You... <laughs> okay, you know what? I sent me what the Quran. Because your own Quran outlines that Jesus is pure. Number one. Number two, it also outlines that, hold on, it also outlines that Muhammad had to ask forgiveness for his own sins. So, that makes Muhammad a sinner. What What makes you think that Jesus did not turn around and ask hold God, on, God for forgiveness? Hold on, you're not listening, you're not listening. What the, What makes you well, think show that Jesus... Well, show me where. Show me where he did this in any of the Gospels. In the, I'm not talking about the Gospels, we're okay, talking about what, the Quran. Okay, show me where he asked forgiveness in any of the Gospels. Did he not turn around and pray? Did he not pray? Okay, show me where he turned around and asked forgiveness. Show me where he asked forgiveness. Uh, we don't. We don't accept anything from okay, the Bible. Show me where he asked forgiveness in the Quran. We, we need brother Muhammad. Show me, show you, my brother Muhammad. Brav, brother, brother, brother. Bro, bro, can you show us in the Quran, in, in the Quran, where Jesus asked forgiveness for his sins? Come here, yeah. They're asking you. They think that you're his champion. So they're asking you. Ba, <laughs> ba, ba. They're no, asking, they're could, asking, could, these two gentlemen here, they're asking, where, can where, you show, number one, where, where Jesus asked oh, forgiveness for his sins? Is Jesus pure and sinless? He's asking that question. Is Jesus is pure, pure and sinless? All the prophets are pure. All the pure okay. The pure. Did Muhammad ask forgiveness for his sins? Did yes. Jesus ask forgiveness for his sins? Okay, can you show me where Jesus asked forgiveness for yes, his I sins? Can show you. Okay, please do. See, this is the point yeah, I'm yeah, making. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is the point I'm making. Sure, sure, sure. Because we let my friend. Yeah, this is what I'm right. saying. Yeah. So, so if, the if, reason why, why Muhammad contrary. Why did Muhammad contrary? Both. 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 You give me the Quran. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Both. 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 Yes. both. Yes. So here's what why I'm saying to you. What I'm simply saying to you, yeah. right, is because Muhammad was a sinner. Hold on, Jesus is sinless. No. Now listen, I don't, listen, I don't, listen, I don't accept listen. that. Okay, I know you don't accept right. it, but so, these are so the facts. No, it's not. Okay, we'll see. Because he's going to turn around okay. and show you where we'll Jesus is. Okay, we'll see where Jesus asked begin for his sins. Yes. We'll see. Okay, but here's what I'm trying to say. If Jesus is sinless and pure, 
when she's all done, but that doesn't make it good, you know. That doesn't make it good. All prophets are He's just talking, you know, a lot. Yeah. If Jesus is sinless and pure, and Jesus prophesied about his own death and resurrection, Muhammad being a sinner contradicted this sinless man. But you're contradicting yourself. Muhammad does that make him contradicted the sinless man. Does, does that, but does that make him God? Though? I think you get God. it. No, I don't. Yeah. We're not talking about whether Jesus is God or not. I'm simply saying to you. Okay. So he acknowledges that Jesus is saying God. Good. That's not what we're talking about. If we did, if we did talk about that, I'll prove to you Jesus is God. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about right now that your prophet Muhammad contradicted your pagan. Your prophet Muhammad contradicted Jesus, and I'm simply saying to you, how do you explain that? He never contradicted okay, Jesus. So the angel what you're saying is, right, what's in your Bible, right, is infallible in the sense that Je Jesus never totally committed sins. So the Bible right? is infallible. No, Thank you. No, I no, I said that's what you say. So don't try and put words in my mouth, okay, son. So let me ask you something, yeah? Right? That's what you say. First of all, you've agreed. That's your statement. No, I have not that's agreed. What you said, yeah? I said that can that's I? what you contain. Have you basically hold on. That's what that's you what contain. So don't, oh, so don't try and be sly. First of all, first of all, don't try and be first sly. Of all, first of all, first of all did an angel come yeah. to Muhammad in the cave? Yes. And did this angel forgive speak for 23 years? Revelation, revelation, yes. Okay. Did he give the same no. message as the you other prophets? Go? Yes. Yes. About show me the other one. Show me the message. Yeah. But the other prophets gave them compared to the worship of one God. Okay, yeah. The worship of okay. one God. No, show me the, that was the message. Oh, you can show it as end. much as you want to. Adam, no, but you know what? Yes, it's not evidence. The worship of this is one the God. Give me the evidence. Yes, this is the end of the Bible. Bible. Yeah. Give me the evidence. Bible, hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? He's still looking. He's still looking. Yeah, and? No, I'll show you. Give me the evidence of these prophets all saying the same thing as God. Okay, give me the evidence. Give me the evidence. Hold on, hold on. I can give evidence. Thank you, evidence. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Have, you no, have you found it? Wait. Have you found it? Give him evidence. Give him evidence. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Have you found the evidence? Three minutes. Stop. I told you. Stop. I already told him. Stop. 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 Oh, do you want to be oh, Israel, the Lord thy God, God is one. Okay. Yes. And you should not worship any yeah. other God other than me. Yeah. So far, you haven't refuted anything I've said. I have. I have. Yeah, we have all the prophets have turned around and said, You are saying this. Have you finished? All the prophets have been joined okay, this on their followers. Wait a second, followers. wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Right? All the prophets have been joined this on their followers. Muhammad contradicted Jesus. How? I've shown you. Jesus prophesied about the way you have been shown to us. You've quoted from a book. Listen. Listen. Everybody. Everybody. I'll just show them one more time. I just show you the message. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, come on, man. I'm going to challenge this man here to the debate three minutes each. Okay. And I promise everyone. Have you done? Have you? Have you done? 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 Have First of all, for well, the record, he's chatting rubbish. Okay, so you make statements. Three minutes. Okay, so make statements. No, three minutes. Okay, so no, three minutes. Okay, no worries. Make statements. Make some statements. Make some statements. No statements. We have three minutes. Yeah, make your statements. Start off. Start off. Start off. What's the topic? What's the topic? What's the topic? That's what we're telling you. We don't know. No, but what's the topic? We are telling you Jesus Christ is on you. Was a man. A prophet, no God in Canada. So that's the topic. That, that's it. That's the topic. Jesus that's what, Christ that's what, that's the is okay. That's a not what we were talking about. But that's not what we were talking about. What were you talking about? We were talking about okay. Muhammad no. contradicting Jesus. No, no, no. That was our topic. What Muhammad? What Jesus? Jesus? We were also talking about Jesus. Muhammad contradicted Jesus. No, no. What do you mean Muhammad contradicted Jesus? Wait, tell me, because Muhammad sometimes said, "Almighty is God, the only one God." Jesus said, "Almighty God is the only one God." Tawheed, what is the contradiction? Should I show Tell you me. what the contradiction is? Okay, one more time, everybody. Tawheed, can you give can you can you give me silent for a second? We need someone to I want you all to understand something. Yeah? Again, again, again. In all four gospels, in all four gospels, Jesus prophesied about his own death and resurrection. In all four gospels, again, let me say this: Jesus prophesied about his own death and resurrection. In Surah chapter 4, 157, Muhammad simply said that they did not crucify Jesus. Is that a contradiction or not? 